You know how sometimes you get so familiar with the layout of your house, it gets boring? So one day, to make life more exciting, you decide to move around your house with your eyes closed. But instead of walking around, we'll do something more high level today, which is to build a PC with a blindfold on. And who's going to do that? Let's welcome Nick from Mansa Computers. Welcome! Over here. Alright, alright. Am I facing the camera? Yes, you are facing the camera. So why are we doing this today, Nick? Because the month of July is Asus PC DIY month and they are campaigning for more people to build their own DIY PCs and sharing best practices online. Yeah. But, but why, why do you have your blindfold on? Because entertainment. Great. So you have several years of PC building experience, right? Uh, yeah. So this is going to be no kick at all? Alright, loving the confidence that you have in me. So let's get started. Hello everyone, I'm Christine, Nick's wife. And as you can see in front of us, we have everything we need to build a PC today. So it seems like we have everything, right? Uh, I, I guess I cannot see. Oh, alright, alright, just trying to test his eye sheets. I think building PC should be quite easy, right? I put together like Lego. I think it's going to be a bloody disaster or it's going to be something epic. Then maybe, okay, then in the meantime, I'll just get to practice my videography skills or so, since, you know, he clearly cannot. Okay, so what should we do first? Looks like a mess. Oh, uh -huh. Just try to test if he knows. I I'll get it, I'll hey, get it. Okay. I have two screwdrivers. Ah. So what should we do first? First, we start with the motherboard. Okay. Motherboard should be the biggest one, right? Yeah. Sounds like the motherboard. I can tell. So for the motherboard, right? Most of the time, we recommend... Oh, where's my... Oh. We recommend people putting it on top of the motherboard box to build. I think we don't want to spoil the box, so we put the box at one side. You can build on an insulated surface, like uh, if wood, uh, this kind of surface is fine. So, if you look at the motherboard, right, there are a few things you need to put on the motherboard. So, the first thing is your processor, which is this one. Yeah, you put it in already. Then, after that, you have your RAMs. Typically, for this size called the ATX motherboard, you have four RAM slots, usually. Yeah, so you put on the second and the fourth one, if you have two RAMs. Okay? Then after that, you will have your SSD. SSD should be about yeah, somewhere here. There's an SSD slot. Ah, ah, yes, this one. Correct. Yeah, this SSD slot. Put your SSD here. Then uh, after you put all this ready, you have a CPU cooler, your processor cooler lah, on top of your processor. That helps to cool your processor. Yeah. So those are the things that we are going to do first. So today, we will be using the... I'll get it, just tell me. Because today we'll be building a budget entry-level kind of PC, right? So one of the entry-level processors that is quite good to go for is the Intel i5-11400F. Uh, oh, here. Yes. Ah, this one. Take out the processor. Uh, so you can see that uh, for Intel processors, right, there will be a level down here. Right. So you slide it out like that. And you pull it up. And like that, ah, this is the, the pins of the socket for the processor. Lah. Because for Intel processors, the behind is flat one, like that. Down here, you got this as a marking down here. There is yeah, a tri triangle. Ah, it's a triangle here, right? Yeah. So the motherboard here also will have a triangle one, if you see. I see. Do you see it? I think you'll be able to tell. Yeah, okay, maybe a little wiggle. Wiggle, yeah. wiggle. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Snug me inside, okay? Then after that, very easy, you just close down the hatch like that. Then you just uh, close the hatch. Oh yeah. no! Then it will pop up. Oh, magic! Yeah, magic. Alright, enough. Okay, so next is the... I like to put in my RAMs first now. RAMs? Yeah, RAMs. So RAMs, right, usually when you all get your RAMs, if you are getting Intel one, you get the ones that say like, oh, optimized for Intel. I'm very good at opening things like, from all my Taobao purchases. We usually go for the last slot furthest away from the processor one and the second slot. Your motherboard manual will tell you which channels to use depending on how many RAMs that uh, you are putting in. So four, obviously all four. La. One and two are different configurations. So for two, it's usually these two, okay? So you slot the RAM into the groove, into the groove. Oh my god, it's so much easier with the eyes open. Is it? Ah, okay, so you press down firmly on the top and the bottom. Ah, you hear this satisfying click sound. Click. And it's inside already. Okay, uh, where's the other RAM? A bit, a bit to your left, higher, yeah. higher. 
such okay. clear instructions. Oh, communication 1010. The ramps, right, usually got this hole down here. Uh, just match with the RAM slot one, then you put inside. Can already. Uh, in, in, in. Who's in, right? Uh, might be a bit... No, 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 help! Ah, uh, hi! <laughs> I guess, yeah, in. No, no, guess. It's either in or not. In, 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 in. Someone is inside the teeth. It yeah. is, eh? It is, then can press down, eh? No worries. Okay. Here, top and bottom. Yep. Ah, no worries, man. I knew it. I told you it was in. Right. Okay, so next we have this. Uh, do, we do the SSD. I need the other screwdriver, the smaller one that I mentioned just now. Yep. Like tore that I summoned my tools. Yeah, so this is the same one. There you go. You need the, 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 the pack of SSD screws. And in English, they will be? The very, very small screws in a very, very small packet. Alright. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you unscrew the... You unscrew the... SSD cover. This is a, this is a heat sink. La. So uh, underneath, you'll see that there's this thermal pad down here. So it helps to cool your SSD. Lower? Okay, okay. Don't, don't move so much. There's one that says 2280. Yeah, that's the one. This one? No, it's not. This one, right? Yeah. Go in. Okay, so now we have the SSD. Okay, you will see that the SSD, right? There's also a teeth one. So you match the teeth to the to the hole. Oh, yes, I can feel it. So it should go in like that. Nice. Flippy flappy. Yeah, it will be flippy flappy, which is why you got the... Screws. Yeah, you put down here, then you can screw it in. Oh, I'm quite impressed that I got it in so easily. Oh my god. This course I got you well. I That's why me. they say behind every PC builder husband, there is a PC builder wife. No. Higher, higher. Ah, yes, yes. Oh my god. Are you sure? Ah, yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, you know to tear out this protective layer. Then, yeah. Ooh. It's done. Where's, where's the... Oh, it is it's the wrong side. I don't know whether it's the correct direction or not. I, I think just now I was in the correct direction. Eh. Maybe. I confirm. Yeah, la. correct. Turn, turn it, turn it. <laughs> That's why they say never doubt yourself if you're very sure of what you need to do. Oh my god. Do not let people get in your way. No, you my wife. Impressive. Oh, please. Okay. So, how far have we come? The last part of the model is the CPU cooler. So, usually your Intel cooler, your Intel processor comes with a cooler already. La. But uh, for us generally, we recommend to do a slight upgrade. Of course, like, to upgrade into this cheap uh, air cooler is relatively cheap. Uh, maybe you add on maybe another $30 like that. It's much better than the default stock cooler that comes with the processor. So definitely go for something like this. If you're on a budget, yeah, no, this works well enough. For the behind, you need to install the cooler backlit. Like a yeah. metallic There's table a top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that people put in the pizza. Oh yes, impressive. Okay, okay, beautiful. The back, you want me to double check? It's like not blocked by anything, right? All correct? Yeah. For this particular cooler, there are like the grey colour things. I need the passing. Is it like the this? No, it's not. Oh, huh? this one. Yeah. What good hearing you have. Yeah, okay. What are you doing now? I need to mount this thing. Okay, then be, most of the coolers come with this funny thing below la, to protect the cooling plate. So you have to go make sure you take out. Then now it's the thermal paste. Yeah. So I don't know how much I'll be putting, but yeah. You all cannot see anything, but he basically didn't squeeze anything onto the processor. Wait, so nothing? Ah? I didn't squeeze anything at all? It's like... It's supposed to be like about, in the middle, about a pea size kind of like... Mm -hmm. ah. So for your... Oh, so for your processor and kind of thing, right? That's a bad example. But uh, usually you Don't try. Don't screw too tight. You try to screw it down with even pressure, so that you like, so that it will mount like as evenly as possible. So it will be in contact with the processor as evenly as possible, lah. So you can like uh, dissipate heat evenly. Okay, yeah, it's good. So for fans, right? Generally, how you tell whether or not the air is moving in which direction is you. You see, this is like the back, ma. The back got this frame one. The back is the part that the air is exiting, lah. I mean, if your fan looks like that, lah. 
What were you trying to do? I'm trying to find the hope because watching me suffer. Can't wait to say that I built a PC with my eyes closed. We. We built we a PC, built a PC with, with my eyes closed. With his eyes closed. Ah, yes. Can I have the honor? Yes, please. Okay, I'll have my eyes closed too. So easy. I... Like two seconds. Oh, please. Ah, oh, it's done. Okay. Then your this fan thing goes on to usually it's around here, man. You'll see a fan header. I think. Uh, are you looking? What? <laughs> ah. <laughs> what? So this one goes in. There's this two one. color. There's grey and black. Ah. Usually the grey one is the CPU fan. One. Then after that, there's another fan header that says CPU optional or something like that. Don't matter about different uh, But for this one, I think it's like that. Cable uh, tie cutter. Handling tools like that. Screwdriver. Yeah. So this one you can hide underneath. Okay. Can. Oh. We have to put the motherboard in. There are different kinds of screws. So usually your PC case itself will come with the screws needed for you to install everything. So here you can see that uh, we have, I think, we grouped it, right? Yes. Okay. okay. So the round ones are your hard disk screws. This one you see like, uh, it's a bit like, there's, it's round but there's a bit of a flat flat thing at the side sometimes. These are typically mm. your motherboard screws. Then for this one, the hexagon one are your power supply screws or the back of the case that kind of screw. So now we put in the motherboard. Usually for motherboards right, there's this thing called the I.O. I.O. shield la. It used to be separate but more and more motherboards are doing these uh, integrated ones already. Okay, so you put in the motherboard like that. Okay, who's aligned? Okay. I know, I'll get you the motherboard screw. Which is which one? The, <laughs> the round then with a flat side. Ah, okay. I knew yeah. it. It's very important to get a magnetizer like this so that your screws don't fall around and you can like magnetize them like this. You can get them from uh, top off. Okay. Why, why are there these like velcro thing? It's just design? Style. Style. But the important thing is in front there are holes. So it's like a... Airflow. Airflow, yes. Okay, put down, put down. Then left a bit. Yeah. In there? Yeah. Oh wow, sick. Sick. Communication. Communication. Telepathy. Oh. I didn't even say a word. Telepathy. Okay, beautiful. So usually your case comes with all these wires at the front panel, right? USB 3, audio cable. Yeah, typically you will say HD audio, right? This is like, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. HD audio. HD. Then you have a lot of random cables. This is supposed to be connected to your motherboard. Okay, so now we connect all these first. HD audio first. Most motherboards, they are about the same place one. Right? Oh, impressive. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually did that. Woo! So colorful. Mm. Let's okay. double check. Yes, secure. Then after that, the other more stressful cable is this one. Ask me why. Ask me why. Because if it breaks, you die. Yeah. Oh, this one correct. Something like that. Yeah. Directly done. Should we cheat? No, no, no. I do not cheat. <laughs> I think correct. Eh? I, I think so too. Wow. wow. Amazing. Amazing. So the next is the front panel stuff. It's usually around the bottom right hand corner one. Uh. You'll see like F panel something. The pattern is 4 on top and 5 below. Yes, correct. Mm. I guess this one is reset. Uh. The, this one is it? Yeah, reset. No, reset. Uh. Okay. So reset goes into... The words are very, very, very tiny. Mm. Uh, hey, let me double check again. Which one you want? I want this, one. this one to be minus. Ah. Uh. Yes. Your right hand. I have my eyes and it's already so difficult. So on top. Oh, on top. Four, then four two. Covered. Uh, four covered. Four like that, then two like that. Lah. Yeah, so there's two. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, no? Now that everything is in. Okay, this one is the fan one. Uh, fan one, I just plug in. Uh. 
Everything underneath here got. How long do you usually take to build a PC like this? The same one? Build uh, Just build, maybe half an hour. So we have so far taken around 10 minutes. So you're gonna fast forward everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> for starter builds, right, generally we recommend going for a hybrid combo. La. So one SSD and one hard disk. Because hard disk is. Uh, oh. Uh, because hard disks, hard disks are typically cheaper than your solid state drives. The SSD offers you fast boot up, then you can store all the programs that you want fast to be in the SSD. Then the rest of your photos, videos, music, that kind of thing, you can just store it in your hard disk because those you don't really need to need it to be very fast. Huh? But in the interest of not spoiling a hard disk and also of time, we won't be installing it into this system. Okay, so usually your hard disk will go inside this hard disk tray down here. Okay. Okay, next we'll be installing the power supply. So this is the ASUS Turf 650 watt power supply. Uh, for entry level builds, we generally recommend about a 500 watt or 600 plus watt power supply because you'll be usually pairing it with a GTX 1660 Super or uh, an RTX 2060. So for those two cards, about this range of power supply should be good enough. When you're doing the power supply, you make sure the fan is uh, facing underneath so you can draw air from below. Then I need the screwdriver. Use this screw. Okay, so a quick run through of the power supply cable. So this one, the 6 plus 2 one, is the power supply for the typically the graphics card. Lah. Sometimes the motherboard accepts this also, but mostly it's for the graphics card. This one, four, you can see it's divided by uh, 4 plus 4, lah, right? Mm -hmm. 4 plus 4 one is typically for the top left hand corner of the motherboard, the CPU power supply. Then you have things like this one, the SATA. Mm -hmm. SATA power, usually for your hard disk and uh, maybe your AIO coolers, that kind of thing. Then you have the Molex one. Mm -hmm. So the Molex one is usually for your lighting, uh, the old kind of like lighting with hubs, that kind of thing. And lastly, you have your 24 pin one, which is typically on the this side of your motherboard. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's plug it in. So usually the CPU 4 plus 4 one, uh, you come out from the top left hand of the case, then uh, you see there's a clip here. Then on the clip here of the power connector, you see there's a teeth, right? Can you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just uh, a line and go in. It's pretty simple if you do it. I can even do it with my eyes closed, so you can do it. Okay, and the 24 pin one, come in from here. Okay, 24 pin down. For the power supply one, usually we come in from underneath. Underneath here, yeah. You mean graphics card? Ah, yeah, your graphics card one. The graphics card one, usually we come in from under here. You have been paying attention, very good. <laughs> so when you come in from here already, right, then you can plug into your graphics card like that. Okay, so basically for power supply, it's usually like that. Then if you look at it, behind is a mess. Uh, I would attempt to cable manage it if we are not running short of time. But uh, I think in the interest of time, we shall skip that part and let's move on to the graphics card. Today I believe we have a uh, GTX 1660 Super, uh, ASUS Turf version, just to fit the whole Turf look. Honestly, for entry-level builds, right, uh, GTX 1660 Super is a good place to start yourself off. I think for this card, it generally can power most of the games, even for AAA games. As long as you put the settings, you cannot expect it to power your AAA games at ultra la, or max settings. So if you are running it at low, medium, that kind, generally it will be fine. But if you want better graphics, then definitely you have to upgrade your graphics card uh, to something even better. Yeah. So the card really depends on what kind of games you play. So uh, if you look at the motherboard here, okay, you can see these slots. Uh, these are the PCIe slots, okay. So generally for different motherboards, there are different PCIe slots. So usually now the first one is a PCIe times 16 slot most of the time. Then the bottom two or more are usually times eight or times four. Right, <laughs> you usually go onto the first slot. 
Yep. The highest slot or the lower? Highest one. Ah, yeah. Okay, then, uh, cause now it's slanted like top. The left left side higher, right side lower. So right side need to go a bit higher. Okay, you should be able to wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, so always remember to screw down your graphic card. If not, it will be like wobbly. La. If you don't screw it down, it will just like sag and it doesn't, it's not supported properly. Are we almost there? Yeah, yeah. I just need to screw down the back panel now, then we are done. We will see whether or not we can boot this thing. You should go for like Guinea's book <laughs> or record. Don't know whether I can or not. Uh, Did I forget anything? There's this like loose wire here. Oh, okay. GG! GG. Oh, no, the graphics card. Cable for the graphics card. Uh. Okay, so... Uh, struggle, struggle. Why is it so difficult? Ah, okay. Yes. Ah, now it is done. Okay, so any last words to say about your PC building? I have faith in my skills and my wife's guidance. So I think this will definitely work out. Yes, let's find out. Alright, moment of truth. I haven't turned on this. Oh, I... Now. Eh? Hey? Yeah, have, 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 wait. Oh, have, have, have. Then, 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 then. You see the screen or thing on? Yes. <gasps> what do you say? It says AMI. Very good, very American good. American okay, okay. Mega trying. Trend. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say already. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes. You did it. Good job. <sighs> good job. Good job. <laughs> good job. High you five. did so well. High five. You did so well. High five. Hey, is the fan supposed to have flight or something? Eh? No light ah? Okay, let me... Let there be light! No, there isn't. No light? Wait, wait. There's still this. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. As I said, Nick with several years of PC building experience. I can't see. There's <laughs> no excuse. Aye, now let there be, be light. light! Light? No? Don't have. Light! Still don't have. Huh? No? Really? Have. Really? No lie? Are you sure? Oh, you sure? Huh? Got lie, got lie. <laughs> yes. Alright, thanks all for watching. Yes. I hope you guys have fun as much as we did. So, uh, be sure to follow Mansa Computers on their IG, Facebook and... Uh, yeah, that's it. We only got Facebook and IG. YouTube! We will include the links <laughs> in the description below. Yeah. Yep, we will. Also, be sure to follow the Facebook page and IG of ASUS as well. Uh, we'll leave everything down below. La. Anything else? Nothing, Nothing I think. Uh. Product placement. Well, <laughs> okay, that's all from us. Peace! See you again. No, see you again. <laughs> Stop, Brian. <laughs> Isn't it very bright? How do you open it? I'm so big. <laughs> okay.